hello Danielle. So I recently came across an article and it was titled nine reasons why moving abroad solo could be your best decision yet. Now, considering you move more than 7,000 miles away to Nepal solo for work, you're pretty much my go-to for this particular topic. Now, one of the highlights that the author of the article cited is this opportunity to invent a new life for yourself. She said, no one knows who you are or who you used to be before you moved. So you can try new things and also develop new habits. One of those things, creating a new style for yourself by wearing different types of fashions and clothing, possibly even attire that's reflected in your new environment. Since moving abroad to live and work, how have your perceptions of clothing changed? Uh, does dress and fashion mean something different to you now? Thank you for asking me to do this. You asked me if my personal style has changed since I've lived abroad. Um, and at first I kind of laughed when I got that question because I thought, I don't have a personal style. I'm the least fashionable person I know. Um, but I guess thinking about it more to try to answer your question, um, I now wear a lot more clothing with a purpose. I've learned about the benefits of wearing clothing that show respect to local culture. I think in the U.S. and in the West we talk a lot about cultural appropriation and the harm of that, but there's also a lot to be said for appreciating local culture, especially when you're trying to work in a different place and to show that you respect um, the different rules there, whether they be about modesty or, you know, just how um, how people normally dress. Thinking more also about like clothes with a purpose, I think I dress a lot more utilitarian these days. Um, it's either like really hot or really cold or I'm hiking a lot or it's gonna rain. So I think about those things a lot when I get dressed in the morning and especially when I'm packing for a trip. One last point I wanna make about um, fashion abroad in South Asia. Um, it's really fun to pick stuff up that you see outside in markets, like to not go to a shopping mall. So that's really fun and like exploring new fabrics and colors and prints that maybe I wouldn't normally wear, but I feel more comfortable doing because um, there's you know just so much color and life in the clothing that people wear here. In the West, a lot of times we can feel a lot of stress about Clothing and fashion and style living abroad has helped me to feel that quite a lot less um, and to recognize how lucky we are.